Hi guys, welcome to another video in this channel. Today, I think you guys are gonna like what we're gonna see. Look at this. We're gonna be going over how you can capture your own face and generate a 3D scan to, well, do whatever you want. You can create cosplay pieces, you can print yourself in 3D. Like, it's gonna be very, very cool. Now, funny thing, my scan was not perfect, so I'm also gonna be showing you how to uh, fix this right here inside of Seaverse and how to avoid having this sort of issues when you're taking the pictures. So, yeah, let's go. How does this work? Very simple. We're gonna be using this software right here. It's called Reality Capture. The software is uh, not developed directly, I think, by Epic Games, but it got bought by Epic Games a couple of years ago. And then now with your own like uh, Epic Games account, you can uh, download that. Of course, it's, it's free to use and to analyze. However, there is a little bit of a cost at the very end. I'll, I'm, I'm going to explain that as we finish. So let's go here. Let's open a new one. Um, I'm not going to save this one. And the way it works is very simple. We start here in workflow and we're going to go to inputs. And as you can see, I literally took my phone camera and that's one of my um, artist friends right here to help me get all of this pictures some of them are not perfect so i'm gonna start with this one right here and it's right around here if i'm not mistaken there we go and we're gonna hit open what this software is gonna do is it's gonna import all of these images as you can see we got 72 images right here the ideal thing if you're gonna do this by yourself the ideal thing is to get a tripod and get a proper camera like the one that i'm using here to record to get the best possible quality however you can still get some very good results with this one so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button that says align images and uh, it's going to take a little while to make everything is uh, aligned. It's going to try to find like points and um, again here's where sometimes when people are doing like 3D scans they will place the little dots on actors faces so that they can find those uh, dots a little bit easier. As you can see it uh, did a fairly good job and it found all of these things right here. So it's generating this thing called a cloud point which is what we're going to be using to generate my like mesh. Now I can make this mesh a little bit smaller. We don't need all of this extra information and it might make the whole process a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna like collapse this right here. And once I'm happy with the cloud point area that we're gonna be analyzing, we can go here and calculate the model. So again, just click calculate the model and this thing is gonna do its magic. It's, uh, I'm not sure if this is AI or automatic or like what process it's doing, but it's analyzing all of these cloud points and it's giving us a good result. I'm gonna pause and wait for this to finish. There we go. So in my computer, it took about two minutes to do this whole process. Depending on your system, it's going to take a little bit longer or um, uh, shorter times. And here we go. So as you can see, the main issue is that when I started taking the pictures, which was in this one right here, my head was slightly tilted up. And then as we continued to took the pictures or take the pictures, my head shifted slightly. So here's where knowing about ZBrush, of course, is a great idea so that we can um, like just reconstruct and try to get it as close as possible to what we have, which is what I have over here. So as you can see right there, that's the cut and that we're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you how to clean this uh, mesh up in just a second. So going back to this one, if you wanna see the colors, you can just click on this option. Which it's gonna just grab your images and pretty much like planar project into the character. You can extract this information and use it as a texture source. Um, it's not gonna be like super, super perfect, but it's good enough. So as you can see, that one looks really, really, really cool, except for the horrible cut right there. Now, once you're happy with the scan and uh, if you've already done the analysis, this is where you export and this is where you actually pay, right? So if you hit export over here, well, actually, I'm going to go to mesh model. And what I can do here is I can do this dense mesh model right here and export this into an OBJ format, which is what I did. The way a reality capture works, I actually do like the, the process. You don't have to pay a license. You don't have to pay like for each model. Model, the way it works is you buy a packet of credits and then for each model that you export or you yeah for each model that you export they take away some of those credits so I remember I bought $20 worth of credit like two years ago it was like two years ago or like one year ago I still haven't finished them so this thing right here would be I think it was like 130 credits or something like that so it's a fraction of a dollar it's like half a dollar what I'm paying for this scan right here so once you export this is an OBJ file, perfectly like normal, we get this. And uh, here's where we, of course, need to do the fixing of the face. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is that this face is not perfectly symmetrical because like the software doesn't know what the front is or anything. So you can see this is my little head over here. The first thing I'm going to do inside of ZBrush is I'm going to rotate this thing so that we can try to get this as close as possible to the center line. I'm going to rotate a little bit more and that's about it. Now let's get rid of some of these things. I'm gonna press Control Shift. I'm gonna to go to Select Lasso. I'm gonna get rid of all of those like weird effects that we have right there. Of course, there's gonna be a hole on my head right now, but again, it's not that big of a deal. We can clean it up later. Let's clean some of this stuff here on the back of my shirt. And uh, yeah, we can even like remove some of the elements right here. 
we can do a here what we're going to do is we're going to say delete hidden to delete those points and if we do dynamesh of course we're going to lose all of the elements we don't lose the polypaint right now this is being treated kind of like as a polypaint we're not going to lose that so i'm going to increase the resolution to like 1024 and hit dynamesh so that should preserve most of the detail as you can see right here and now the only thing i need to do is i need to select like this section of the face and just like retwick it so that it matches a little bit better so i'm going to go now to my mask lasso I'm going to grab all of this section right here, which is where the cut is. All of that right there. There we go. I'm going to invert the mask, reset the pivot point here. And again, just like slightly like shift it around and try to match it with the other half. I need to push this in a little bit. There we go. So when we do that, actually, I think that one went a little bit higher. Let's push this down, probably a little bit there, probably a little bit closer. And there we go. And once we do this, of course, we can go with our traditional tools and we need to go through a cleaning process. So I'm going to dynamic real quick again. And now with trim dynamic, for instance, or clay buildup or whatever, no symmetry in this case, we're going to be working without symmetry. And we can start rebuilding some of the elements here on my face. So if you're wondering, like, is this how they do it on like professional movies when they're doing digital doubles? Of course not. For, for digital doubles, one of the things that they have is they have a huge, huge, huge setup for it. A lot of cameras that you can utilize and uh, they take a picture at the exact second. So, so they are not missing or, or generating anything that uh, makes the actor look a little bit weird. I'm going like, to move my nose there a little bit more. And let's just trim dynamic again to, to kind of like clean this space right there. So what can we do with this? Well, one of the big advantages of having this model right here is that if I wanted to model like a helmet or something, I already have the proper scale or the, the, the proportion of my face. So the only thing I need to do now is start modeling whatever. We could even bring like the Adex helmet that we did. Actually, should we? Shall we do it? Or let, let, let's bring the, the Kindred mask that we did uh, before. Oh. Come on, Sirish, what's happening here? Did it crash? No, there we go. Okay, so let's go back here. I'm gonna go and uh, load tool and let's load our Kindred mask that we did right here. So if I wanna, again, I'm not a cosplayer, but if I was a cosplayer and I was also a 3D artist, this is what I would do to, to try to understand how this things work. So there's the mask right there. Right now the mask is um, down here. So we can change the size of the mask and play around with the size to imagine how this thing would look. So this will be like roughly the size that I would need the mask to be printed at, right? If I wanted to, to cover my eyes and still be able to, to see. So yeah, that's pretty much it, my friends. Like scanning your face in the 3D world, I think it's one of those like very, very valuable things that we can do. Let me change the color right here, there we go. Because again, like just having this size reference is gonna be really, really important. Now, if you wanna do meta humans and things like that, you're gonna have to do a lot more cleanup uh, because this is another thing that, um, that this technology allows us to. I could grab this face, do the cleanup process, like generate a very nice, like, uh, my very nice face right here inside of uh, inside the series. Well, you guys decide whether my face is nice or not. But um, what I'm saying is that I would need to clean this up, convert this into a like properly like a nicely uh, organized mesh and everything. And once I had that, I could use um, metahumans as well to generate a like very nice like talking metahuman. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it uh, on this channel. I I've gotten requests to do that, but to be honest, it's a, it's a relatively long process. And uh, there's so much other content that I want to share with you, my friends. So you're going to have to forgive me for that. But yeah, there you go. How to scan your 3D face in less than 10 minutes. So hopefully you like this video, guys. If you did, make sure to check our Discord, our socials, Twitter, TikTok, everything. And um, if you want to support the channel, we got a free course available right now that you can find on the description. It's a course about Blender. Uh, it's about AAA weapon creation so that you can create weapons for your games. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what else you would like to see. This is it for now. I'll see you back on the next one.